Okay, so we're starting off with our skin moisturized, with our face primed, with our eyelids primed, and our brows done, and we are going in with the shade Foxy from the Naked Basics One palette, and we are putting that all over our lids to set the eyelid primer and so that our shadows will blend more seamlessly. Then next up, I'm going to grab the shade WOS from the Naked Basics One palette, and I'm going to put that in my crease as my transition shade. And then we're going to go into the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Matte palette, and we're going to pick up the darker brown shade from the middle of the third row, and we're going to blend that into our crease as the base for our crease color. And then we are just going to blend, 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 blend with windshield wiper motions back and forth in our crease with that color. And then I'm going to pick up the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going in with the color taupe on a big fluffy blending brush and I'm going to deepen up the crease color. And I'm going back into the Lorac Pro palette and I'm going to pick up the color Sable on a blending brush and I'm going to further deepen up the crease. And then just blend, blend, blend it out. And then going in with the shade Light Bronze from the same palette, I'm going to pick that up on a flat, dense brush and I'm going to pack that all over the inner third of the lid. And then picking up a big fluffy blending brush and blending it out. And then packing on some more color with the flat, dense brush and then picking up the blending brush again and blending it out. This is just a series I do a couple of times to make sure all of the colors are blended well together. And then I'm going in with the shade Nude on my ring finger and just tapping that all over the very inner corner of the lid for an extra pop of color and then I'm going to go back to that naked blending brush and I'm going to blend everything out some more. And then I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Demolition and I am lining my lash line very tightly and very neatly. Then it's time to curl my lashes and I'm just making sure that my lashes are prepped for mascara. Then I'm just coating my lashes with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then for foundation, I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer, and I am in the shade Light Medium. And 
I'm just going to warm this up with my fingertips and then dot it all over my face to distribute it and then I will go in with a really big flat top foundation brush and blend it all out. And you want to be sure to press it into your skin before you begin to buff it out. And then I'm going to go in with the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector in the shade Light Medium on a concealer brush from Sigma and I am going to color correct the dark circles on the inner corners of my eyes. And you just need a little bit of product, it's pretty thick, so you just need a little bit, tap it on, blend it out to get rid of the dark circles under your eyes. And then I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealers in the shade Light Neutral and Light Warm. And I am going to put those under my eyes, on my forehead, the tip of my nose, the top of my lip, and my chin. Then going in with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I am going to blend out all of the concealer. Once the concealer is all blended out, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to bake under my eyes and set the rest of the concealer on my face. Now I'm going in with the NARS Sculpting Powder in Paloma and the NARS Eda brush and I'm going to sculpt out my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and my nose. And we're going to dust away that loose powder so that our concealer is now set and we can start to blend our contour. Then to blend out our contour, we're going to use my Beat to Heck The Body Shop Bronzer in shade 1 on a Real Techniques blush brush and we are just going to blend the bronzer with our contour for a more flawless look. Now it's time for blush and I'm going in with the NARS Dolce Vita blush on an angled blush brush and putting that on the apples of my cheeks and blending backwards. Mm -hmm. 
Then going back into the NARS contour palette, I am going to take the lighter shade and I am going to clean up the contour and further chisel out my cheekbones. Then I'm going in with Becca Moonstone to highlight my cheekbones and then I'm going to blend it out. Now it's time to bathe in some MAC Fix Plus. Told you I meant bathe. Now I'm lining my lips with a NYX Nude Lip Liner in Daphne. Then I'm going in with a Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Daringly Nude, it's number 655. And my lips felt really dry here, so I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics Buttercream right over the top just to give me some moisture in my lips. Or you can rock the Revlon Black Cherry for a dark vampy lip. And that's all I've got guys. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye!